Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons, and today we are going to be talking about Halloween kills. It's been a little while since I've been able to talk about Halloween kills simply because of it getting pushed back almost pretty much an entire year. Uh, actually, it was an entire year to October 15th of 2021, but ever since it got pushed back, news has broke. And David Gordon Green has opened up and said that Allison is actually going to be the main, one of the main focuses of Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Now, I know a couple of you guys are probably like, Brayden, we knew this already. Why are you doing a video on it? Why are you wasting time on it? And it's because I've talked about this in a couple videos in the past, specifically with what Laurie Stroh's role is going to be in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. The question that I have is how much more of Laurie Strode are we going to see in these two movies? Because obviously in Halloween Kills, she is going to be in the hospital for a majority of the movie. Um, if not the entire movie. Like, we're going to see her in the beginning. She's going to be on her way to the hospital, and that's where she's going to stay. She's going to have very little to do with the main part of the story in Halloween Kills. At least based on my understanding. Based on my understanding, that's pretty much what they plan on doing with her. And she's probably not going to have an integral role to the story anymore until Halloween ends. Um, because if you guys remember too, Halloween 2018's plot was that Laurie Strode comes to her final confrontation with Michael Myers. And obviously, with there now being two movies that potentially takes place on the exact same night, that could technically still be the case. You know, we just didn't realize that it wasn't only going to be in one movie, that there was also going to be two more movies coming along with Halloween 2018, uh, with Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends being announced. So my question is, is just how much more of Laurie Strode are we going to see in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends? Like, how much more screen time, I should say, do we have with her? Like, I'm actually happy that... Halloween Kills is going to focus on Allison and it's going to focus on Tommy and Lindsay and Karen because Karen is one of those characters that I just couldn't stand in Halloween 2018. I thought that she brought very little to the story. I thought that, actually I thought that Allison wasn't even a character that was necessarily needed in Halloween 2018. I kind of found her entire side story a little off track especially because of how they went to a halloween dance and how it focused on her romantic drama between her and cameron sure it was nice to see that you know a strode was dating an elam because uh cameron is lonnie's son so i'm also curious to see where they're going to take that in halloween uh kills but i just felt like allison wasn't necessarily an integral piece of Halloween 2018, at least to the very end. And the same thing with Karen. I'm really expecting to see major character growth with these two characters throughout the course of Halloween Kills. Karen, I thought that her redemption at the end of Halloween 2018 was awesome. When she grabbed the gun and she was like, you know, fake crying and everything like that. And then she said, gotcha, boom, and then shot Michael right in the cheek, right in his right cheek. Um, I thought that was awesome. But in terms of Allison, there wasn't necessarily much character growth. I mean, she showed a little bit of badassery in Halloween 2018, specifically when Oscar was trying to get with her. And, you know, she turned around really quickly and Oscar fell. Now, Oscar was no character to ride home about. But, um, like, when she, like, turned, like, she was, like, ready to punch him. It actually makes me wonder if Karen, maybe, maybe Allison actually knows how to shoot a gun. Maybe she doesn't need to be trained. Maybe she already knows. Because in the uh, Halloween teaser that we got last year with that little behind the scenes of what they were working on, you saw Allison get out and she had a shotgun in her hand. It makes me wonder if she actually is already trained. Uh, I mean, knowing her family, that could very well be the case. I'd actually rather not spend a lot of time in Halloween Kills with us seeing Allison get ready to battle Michael Myers. I feel like that she should pretty much already be ready to go, especially because she's somebody that always felt sympathy for her grandmother. She always felt something uh, as to how her grandmother was affected. And now with her being affected by Michael Myers and she sees what he's done to her family, I'll just be curious to see if she already knows how to shoot a gun, if she's already got this sense of badassery within her. 
uh, which I'm very, very excited to see. And I did really like Andy Matichek as Allison in Halloween 2018. I think that she is awesome. I think that she is an incredibly talented actress. And I'm just hoping that she has more to do in Halloween Kills than just kind of be that side character because there are certain characters that I need to see really kind of be reintroduced into the franchise and characters that we were introduced to into Halloween 2018, we need to see them grow a little bit more as well, which is why it's integral that Lori is in the hospital getting better and recovering so that way she can be ready to go in Halloween ends. Now, who knows? Maybe Karen and Lori are gonna die at the end of Halloween Kills. No idea. I, I have zero idea, but I really don't think that that's going to be the case. I know a couple people, I'm looking at you, James Grimm, uh, have said that they would like to see Laurie Strode die at the end of Halloween Kills, um, but I don't think that that's going to happen. I, I think that she's going to be far too important for Halloween Ends, and if Karen ends up dying, uh, which I truly think that Karen's going to be the one to bite the bullet at the end of Halloween Kills, then I think it'll be Laurie and Allison that rise up against Michael Myers to finish him once and for all on Halloween Ends. Or maybe Michael Myers actually defeats Laurie. Who knows? This can go either way. And I'm just really excited to be along for the ride for these next couple of movies. So with that being said, guys, post your guys' comments down below. Let me know what do you guys think? What do you guys anticipate to see from Allison, from Karen, from the returning characters that are coming in Halloween Kills? Whatever you guys' thoughts are, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys in my next video.